Hello, I'm Janet Brown, Director of Healthcare Services at ASHA, and I'm happy to introduce our very special speaker today, Dr. Joan Arvidson, who will be speaking on evaluating feeding and swallowing disorders in infants and children. Thank you for coming, Joan. It is my privilege and my pleasure. Thank you. Now, Joan, you're currently the coordinator of the Feeding and Swallowing Program at Children's Hospital in Wisconsin, right? That's right, and, and the Medical College of Wisconsin as well. <clears throat> so tell us, what has your experience taught you about the importance of, in, of evaluation and intervention in very young children? It has taught me that we still have a lot to learn and a lot of questions even more so that it is of critical importance to parents and their children because feeding babies, feeding children is such a basic part of family interaction and success or failure as parents as well as what happens with the children. So the earlier we can identify babies and children with feeding and swallowing problems, the better chances we have to help them function better, and in turn, parents help their children better, and it is incredibly challenging as well as incredibly rewarding. And every single day, I have more questions, and I have more pleasurable experiences with outcomes. That's great. And you've been working on developing a systematic framework for evaluating infants and children. Yes, and the systematic is a key word because every child is different. And I often think that every child writes his or her own book. So to do something like true practice guidelines or true protocols, those things are very difficult. Mm -hmm. But we need to have systematic decision making, which means we need to establish the best framework so that all clinicians, those who are just getting started in the field and those who have been involved in this area for a long time, can indeed become more systematic and have our processes that we have a better chance of collecting data so that we can keep making our practices more evidence-based, which is also critical for advancing and improving this whole area of critical care for babies and children. That sounds so important. Thank you again for coming. We're so looking forward to what you have to say. Thank you very much. It is such a privilege to share what I do know and to keep raising more questions and the better questions we can ask, the more we can do of that, the better we will learn and the more systematic we will indeed become. Thank you very much. Thank you.